guys, today I'm going to show you four different heart-shaped DIYs for Valentine's Day, but they could also be used for the rest of the year if you want to as well because they're super pretty. I want to take a minute to thank you all for the kind supportive messages on my strip down challenge video if you haven't seen that I'll put a link in the description box below basically it's just a talking video where I didn't edit for 10 minutes and it was more like 20 seven minutes but anyway I've really gotten away from doing that style of video on my channel and I miss it so I just want to know what kind of tag videos or talking videos should I do maybe Q&A leave any suggestions down below also if you do like this video this heart shaped DIY decor for your room then please give it a thumbs up before you click out and also subscribe to my channel if you never want to miss one that I put up now let's get ready for the tutorial there's some drawing polymer clay, puffy paint, window clings, and some corks. Let's go! First up is the lovely geometric heart canvas art. Here I'm creating my own template by just drawing half a heart on a folded piece of paper and then cutting it out. You could also print a heart image from Google if you choose. The point is to make it as symmetrical as possible and also to center it on the canvas as best as you can. So a ruler comes in handy for this part of course after you lightly mark the exact middle of each side on the canvas then go ahead and tape the heart template in place and trace around it with a metallic sharpie marker or any type of marker or paint that you want. Carefully remove the paper from the canvas and fill in the empty spaces like I'm doing here. After erasing the pencil marks, I found a reference photo from Google Images. Honestly, all of the lines and angles intimidated me at first and kind of made my head hurt, but remember you don't have to make yours look exactly like the guide and I'm definitely not following this exactly. So go ahead and try to make the shapes as equal in size as possible just by making points in the heart like I did here. I started at the bottom with a diamond and a couple of little triangles. Next, I made two triangle templates and I traced them all around the inside of the heart. Again, I want it to be as symmetrical as possible, but I've accepted the fact that it won't be perfect because when it comes to measuring, I get really impatient. That's okay though, I began connecting the points of the triangles by drawing straight lines. Basically, just create diamonds and triangles all over until you're happy with the way the heart looks. And to take it a step further, I think this makes it look much better. I'm just going over the lines with the marker again and making them all bolder and darker. Finally, I know this might sound silly, but I'm painting the white canvas with white acrylic paint. Even though my pencil marks were really light, I couldn't get them to erase completely, so a couple coats of paint will hide them. Now you have a diamondy jewel of a heart that can be used as decor all year round, not just limited to Valentine's Day. Next, let's turn the attention over to our windows by dressing them up with some clings. First, you'll need a large plastic sandwich bag, such as this Ziploc one, as well as any printed or hand-drawn templates. Using Tulip Puffy Paint, I'm going to trace each shape and generously fill it in. Now, wait for the designs to dry completely. Once they do, you can add extra detail with other colors of paint, 
or peel them off as is. The clings are just tacky enough to stick to any glass, but they can easily be removed and reused as well, so don't worry about ruining your windows. Corks are great for crafting. Here I have arranged 14 of them into the shape of a heart, of course. Grab a hot glue gun or any type of glue that isn't too runny, such as E6000 or tacky glue. Now, simply attach all the corks together. I've already finished the top half, but all you have to do is add a line of glue to the side of each cork while keeping them all lined up so the shape doesn't change. This is such an easy project, and the more corks you have, the bigger you can make the heart. For the final project of the video, I'm bringing back polymer clay and turning it into a heart-shaped dish. First, you'll want to condition the block of clay by rolling it in your hands for at least 5 minutes. You want to get it warm and break it apart and then roll it back together. So once it's workable, I made a ball and began to flatten it. As you flatten the clay, start to form the shape of a heart by gently pulling the bottom to form a point and also create an indent in the top, um, in the middle there, and keep slowly pinching and pulling the clay until you get the exact shape that you want. After that, slightly curve the edges upward to give it a bit of dimension and make it more dish-like. This is oven-baked clay, so you have to put it in the oven in order to make it harden. Before doing so, I propped up the edges with some pieces of wood from clothespins. You could also use foil. This is going to prevent them from collapsing while it bakes. Be sure to follow the baking instructions on your specific package of clay. And once it has baked and cooled, then you can decorate it any way you want. So I added glitter paint to the middle, and I also put a few coats of gold puffy paint around the rim. You could also use acrylic, but my gold acrylic was a weird darker color I didn't like. Anyway, then gloss glaze can be used to make it look a ton more professional. It just makes it shiny and put together, so you can add that after the other layers of paint dry. Now you have a pretty little heart dish for the desk in your office or even to store jewelry on. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what your favorite project from it was. And also leave me some video requests. Any type of video that you want to see, just let me know. It could be a product review, a DIY of whatever sort, or a talking video like I mentioned at the beginning. And don't worry, I still will be doing DIYs or like crafty type videos every Friday. So don't think that I'm changing my channel up too much. I just want to add more and hopefully do like two videos a week, which I've been doing. I was just really, really super busy with uh, when I moved back in October. So so I'm starting to get caught up, yay! I don't know why I'm moving my hands so much. If you want to check me out on social media, all of my links are in the description box below. That's pretty much where all of the information to everything is. And if you haven't seen some of my uh, recent videos, I just posted a Valentine's Day treats video and I did rainbow roses and you can also check out my Valentine's Day playlist from last year and the previous years because I did Valentine's Day cards and a ton of other stuff that you might not want to miss. So. Yeah, check them out, and I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I did not turn my phone ringer off. See you guys soon in my next video. Bye. Hey. <laughs> Heart shaped project. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. DIY. Today. <laughs>
today. That sounded so lame. What is wrong with you, Sarah?